Traditional New Orleans jazz, called the real article in contrast to commercial jazz, is high-spirited, simple, and dignified, and great fun. And the most popular group to play original jazz is the Preservation Hall Jazz Band. And Jill's guest has a preview of the band that will play tonight in Miami. Jill. Peter, we're already having a lot of fun talking about the Preservation Hall Jazz Band. They call New Orleans home, but they are on the road, and tonight they'll appear at the Gusman Cultural Center in downtown Miami. And the person who arranged their appearance here is Dr. Ruth Greenfield of Miami-Dade Community College. She's the coordinator of the Light Up Downtown series, as well as the Lively Arts Lunchtime series and a lot of other wonderful entertainment. You as long as it's not the deadly arts, the we've been trying everything. Uh, Jill, the Miami-Dade Community College began the lunchtime series 15 years ago to make dar darkness come into light in the daytime downtown. It, it was it quite really, a downtown then. Right. It, it's been so much fun for, for the people who live he here and work in downtown Miami. But now last year you started the Light Up Downtown series, right? Yes. Everybody was exiting from downtown. Mm -hmm. And it just seemed wrong that everybody should be sitting on the expressway instead of listening to music. And tonight they're going to hear the Preservation Hall yes. Jazz Band. Now, you arranged to bring them here. I mean, I've seen them in New Orleans, yes. so I'm very I excited. Yes. And we want to let them play something, but it, it, the band briefly is, 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 is what? To explain that just a little it's bit. A, it's a powerful human spirit, the band. And uh, there are four groups, and each group is as loving as the other. This is the Humphrey group you're going to hear today. I hear they're the best in the world. Well, let's, the let's hear them. See if, let's see if they're ready. Okay. What do you think of that amalgam? You know, terrific, guys. Just terrific. Ruth, that's the kind of music that makes people smile. Now, if they want to hear more of the Preservation Hall Jazz Band tonight down at yes. Gusman, what time? Six o'clock? Six o'clock. Come at five. Come at five. Come and at five. That's have what something we do. To we drink socialize first. at five. We have a drink or we, we just talk to folks. And then at six o'clock, there's a show for an hour and a half. And what does it cost? It's not terrifically expensive, is it? It's seven dollars. Oh my gosh, more than Imagine. worth it. Now, how often do you have the Light Up Downtown series? We have them once a month, Jill. Once a month? Yes. See, next, great groups like this. Oh yes, well this is the greatest group to begin with, but next month we have a concert of opera and piano with Ivan Davis and Marvis Martin, and in March, Joseph... Wait. 
Right. Right. I don't want to yeah. interrupt, but I just want to say real quickly, tell us, they're going to be in West Palm Beach? Oh, Bell yeah. Glade, yeah. Bell Glade tomorrow mean, night, the presentation You mean, you mean these great folks? Right. Yeah. Bell Glade Tuesday. Right. West Palm Thursday. Boca Raton Saturday. They got a busy schedule. And, and tonight. Thank you, Ruth Green. And tonight. And tonight at Gusman. Peter. Thanks so much, Jill. Okay. People like to read novels that deal with places they're familiar with. Coming up, the man who's written a book called American Tropic. That's obviously going to be set in Florida. Don't go away.